Hey guys, John Canford here with JJ DJ Entertainment. I wanted to take a few moments and show you guys some things in Show Express that I use with our shows that um, I necessarily, um, I guess there's just, there just really isn't any full videos on different features. And I know Mikey Mike's done a couple good videos on Show Express and there's still, there's so many features out there within it. You know, I just learned one the other day from uh, Monica and Arnaldo Offerman, which turned out to be great, which I'm going to show you guys in future videos. So I'm, I'm just going to show you the, you know, basics here. Um, right now, I just have, this is the control board. When you open Show Express, this is the first thing that loads up. And you'll see right here, it says Caniford Wedding. That is the particular um, file I have open, our different sh um, show I have open. And then it says no universe is found. I just I don't have my dongle plugged in. But right here, we're just gonna right click and we're gonna go to settings and I'm just gonna make a fresh show so I can show you guys some things. So we'll say demo show for YouTube. Okay. And apply. Or actually hold on. let me go ahead and you gotta select that show now after we made it. Then hit apply, it's gonna restart the app. And there we go, now it says demo show YouTube. No universe found again, but now this tells you that this this is the current light show that we're working within. So first thing you need to do is you need to know what fixtures you're gonna use for this show. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say that we're using two Chave QSpot 260s and maybe the Blizzard Q6 park ends. So what you're going to do is now you need to tell Show Express which lights you're using. So you go into the first selection here. And this is where you set your fixtures up. You can manually create new fixtures if they're not in here just by clicking new into the name of the fixture. Let's say test fixture A. Do you want to save? Usually we hit yes and we'll say no right now. And then right here, this is your first fixture. Um, and then you need to assign it channels. So in, in the manual, um, you need to look up and see what are the DMX channels for that particular fixture. Once you know them, you, you know, let's say it's a three channel, or let's say four channel fixture. So one, two, three, four. So you go to first one, let's say the first one is, let's, let's say it's a park and the first channel one is gonna be the red LEDs. So you're gonna do that. So channel one is red. Say so channel two is blue. Channel three, let's do green. And then channel four, we'll do. Let's see, what will be a good one? I will say the dimmer. So now we've made a fixture, pretty much. So if Show Express has a lot of pre-made profiles for the fixtures, but if you have one of the new fixtures and Chave hasn't updated their software, or if you have, you know you know, an unnamed brand fixture, you can make your own fixtures as well. So that's pretty much just adding a new fixture. The This option here is for the 3D view. Chave has a really nice 3D visualizer. I really don't get too much or too deep into it, but if you want your fixtures to show up and you want to get into that 3D visualizer and be able to program, you know, without, you know, your lights being in front of you, you could set up, you know, whether it's a moving head, a wash light, and this is what it, it will show, a little icon or an image of that in the 3D world. So, but since we're not going to use that fixture, I'm just going to erase it. Yes. Maybe. Okay, well, I don't know why it's not going away. But, so let's go ahead and, let's go back to our Chave Q spots. Let's go ahead and add those. You can click the open. You're going to go to Chave, and then you're going to look for your fixture. We're looking for the QSpot 260s. Now, another thing to pay attention to is pay attention to um, some, something like Moving Heads, for example. I believe they have a 7-channel mode and a 14-channel mode. Obviously, more channel would be what they call the advanced, and smaller channels will be the basic. Whereas we'll, we'll stick with basic for now. Nope, oh, that was the QWash LED. Let's go to cube spot. Let's try that. Cube spot 260 LED basic. There we go. 
Okay. So really right here, you're just adding in your fixtures that you, you own. You're not assigning the DMX addresses yet. Now, when you click this tab, DMX addressing, now you can assign the fixtures DMX address. So we know this is the QSpot 260. So you can either right click and click add fixture to DMX addressing list or you can just double click. Double click, it shows you the model of the fixture you're using, which is the QSpot 260. The DMX address, it will automatically assign this, but you can, you know, change it to your own address, whatever you want it to be. So since that's our first fixture, we're just going to make that one. It also shows you on here for some of the older fixtures that don't have the LED um, readout or the, vis the, dis the digital displays, and you're still using the pins, it shows you the correct um, pin settings you need to do, or the dip switch, excuse me. So it gives you your dip switch um, selections. Now the name, this is just the name that you're going to be able to look at when you get into the program um, programming mode of the software. And this just so you know which light you're controlling. So we're going to say QSpot 260. It's going to be the first one we added, so one. Um, reverse pan, if you check this, it's going to reverse the pan on that fixture when you're programming. Reverse tilt, same deal. If you... um want to reverse the tilt on the programming of the fixture, um, you could do that as well. So for example, it would be if you had one moving head hanging upside down and you had the other moving head on a totem, um, right side up, you would have to reverse pan and tilt on one of them if you wanted to do the opposite of what the light in the ceiling is doing. Um, or to match the light in the ceiling because it's hanging upside down. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee today. So let's go ahead and save that. And we said we had two of them, so let's go ahead and add another one. Now, see, we had the basic setting, which I guess the basic for the QSpot 260s are 12 channels. So what it's done now is automatically picked up on the next available channel that's um, within your, your DMX universe. Keep in mind, you have 512 channels within the one universe to work with. So the name, since it's another QSpot we're going to add in, QSpot 260, and... Dash two, and you can name these whatever you want. You can name it Big Light on Rig. You know, you know, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, my the way, or the way we do it in our company is we just name the QSpot 260, and then which fixture we're talking about, and then save. Now I know. I wonder why we can't delete these. I don't know why. Okay, so we said also we're gonna have a par can as well. So let's go ahead and, and add a par can. Now you can see on here they have a really nice selection or wide selection of man uh, lighting manufacturers so more than likely you'll be able to find the ones you're looking for. Uh, we're going to do the Blizzard Q6. Now again this is 7 channel. The Q6 is also can do a 4 channel. So if you start programming you realize the light's not doing what you want it to do, take a look at the settings and see if it's on the 4 channel mode or 7 channel mode. So we're going to add that in. Let's go ahead and just add in we're going to add one of these. You can also, um, I guess can't. I guess new version can't drag and drop. But double click. We'll say Q6. This is our first one. Again, it does the automatic numbering. Um, and then it shows you the dip switch settings as well. So at this point, what you, what you would do, you would take your DMX numbers for those particular fixtures and go assign them on the fixtures itself. Now, if you need to know the dip switch settings again, you can double click, it opens it back up, and you can see your dip settings. So hit save, go ahead and close this out once you program it. And the next video, I will be showing you guys just some basic editor and programming.